guys, this is Bella, and this is Sophie. Hi, Sophie. She's making her YouTube debut. Well, unless you've seen her other videos that I have on her special blog, which is um, sophietail.wordpress.com. I was trying to remember it. Anyway, um, this is Sophie. She is so cute. She's 13 weeks old today, actually. I've had her for two weeks. And she is a Shishan, which is a Bichon and a, um, oh, you're so cute, baby. You're so cute, baby. Um, she's a Bichon and a, and a um, Shih Tzu mix. And she has been doing so well. And she's been uh, just fitting right in and having a really good time, huh? Really good time. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. I'm in my dining room. It's um, about 9.30. We just had my dad's uh, 71st birthday party today at my sister's house next door. And I just thought, well, since I'm dressed and I look okay, I thought I would make a little video um, because I have some big things to tell you. So besides having Sophie, which is the biggest news of all, right, Miss Girl? Yes, Miss Sophie Girl. Um, besides having her, I've made some major decisions. Okay, sweetie, you could go down. Okay. I've made some uh, major decisions in terms of weight loss surgery. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I had mentioned that I was having doubts about whether or not to have lap band surgery. Um, one of my really good friends who was inspired to have weight loss surgery by me started really looking into it. And in her research, um, and because of her research, she decided to go with the um, vertical sleeve instead, VSG, vertical sleeve gastronomy. And if you guys recall in videos past, um, my surgeon actually is pretty adamantly opposed to lap band. And, um, but I, for some reason, I, <laughs> I was really kind of stubborn about it or just very hard headed, which is not like me, but I was absolutely like, no, I'm having it. I don't care what you say. Like, not that you're the expert or anything, right? I mean, how ridiculous of me to not listen to what the doctors say, not heed his advice, and decide that somehow I knew more and that I was going to get a lap band um, even though he's saying, listen, long term, I don't recommend it. It's much better for you to get the um, sleeve or the bypass. You know, I really would not do it if I were you. Like, he's telling me all these things and I'm like, no, 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 I'm getting lap band and I know more. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. So anyway, since my friend um, like raised these questions for me, I started doing my own research. So I started watching a lot of videos on YouTube, which I thank you guys so, so much for making. Um, I started going online to different forums, Obesity Help, um, Vertical Sleeve Talk, Lap Band Talk, and just started comparing like the amount of people complaining about each of the types of surgeries, you know, versus Lap Band versus... Um, versus the sleeve and really I mean by far there's a lot more people having complications after lap band surgery than with the sleeve um, and again the sleeve is where they take out 80 percent of your stomach and you're left with a stomach that is the size of about four ounces it can hold about four ounces at a time so it is um, it's like just having the stoma part of the lap band surgery. The thing that I like about it is that although it is permanent and irreversible, um, it has a lot fewer complications later. And um, once it's healed, once the staples have healed and everything's healed, there really isn't much... Um, much that can go wrong. I mean, other than um, somehow the stomach you know, stretching or something, but they're taking out the part that's the, the stretchier part of the stomach. So the part that's left isn't as, um, as stretchy. So it should be less likely to, um, to stretch and gain, make you like gain weight after. Um, and I like that it's not as invasive as, um, let's say gastric bypass. Like this surgery takes an hour and a half, just like lap band surgery does. And although lap band surgery is removable, a lot of people say that lap band is reversible. And I mean, I guess they can, it's not really reversible, it's removable. Um, and that is distinct, that's a distinct difference. So um, it can be removed, but you can't necessarily reverse the 
problems that might occur, you know, like the scarring or um, tissue damage or erosion, all those things. Like you can't reverse that. You can remove the tool that's inside of you, the object that's inside of you. So anyway, long story short, after doing a lot of research, I've decided to get the vertical sleeve just because I feel like why have to go through a second surgery? Because I'm seeing so many people on these forums got the lap band and then have to go from a lap band to VSG. Um, because they've had problems and you know why not just start off with the thing that's going to work and also the thing that's going to be actually faster um, most of the people lose the majority of the weight within the first six months and then the second six months to a year after that so between a year and a year and a half mark that's when they lose like the rest of it but the majority of the weight is lost in those first six months which is awesome um, and so anyway I'm really inspired by the people that I've been watching on YouTube and it really just makes me want to continue with what I've been doing and lose the weight so that I can qualify for the surgery. Um, and speaking of which, I have been on um, South Beach Diet since June 13th and so it's almost exactly two weeks. Uh, Monday would be two weeks. Monday should be when I start um, the phase two which includes like little bits, of, a little more carb and um, basically a little bit more carbs. And although tonight was my dad's 71st birthday, so we had a party, like I said, at my sister's house. And I did, in fact, have a little bit of carbs since it was so close to Monday. I figured, you know, Saturday, it's not going to hurt. And the carbs that I had weren't weren't bad. I mean, my sister made this delicious um, spinach salad that had strawberries and sunflower seeds. So I had a little of that. And then I had... Um, um, what was the other thing I had? Oh, I had a Skinny Girl Margarita before dinner when they were having cocktail hour. And Skinny Girl Margaritas have the same um, calorie content and nutritional info as a glass of wine. Glasses of wine are allowed on um, on phase two. So I had one glass and I enjoyed it and, and that was that. So um, that's, that's pretty good. South Beach has been going really, really well. Um, in about, in the, when I, so in about a week, I lost 5.8 pounds. Um, I'll take this next week's uh, weigh in on Wednesday. So I have a few days yet. Um, this week, for some reason, has been a little slower than like, so from Wednesday till now, I've only lost, I think, 0.8. Um, but I mean, I still have a few more days, so that's fine. And I need to like kick up the exercise, but I am proud of myself because this week, last week was like all about Sophie. I had just gotten her trying to get used to having a new puppy in the house again and all that stuff. So, um, that's pretty much what I was doing last week with a little bit of exercise and stuff this week. I was really, um, exercising. I did aqua aerobics. I went to a, um, uh, Afro belly boogie class. It's called at, um, at 24 Hour Fitness, so fun. It combines African dancing, belly dancing, and modern like club kind of dancing, and you leave just sweaty. And it's it's the closest thing I can compare it to is Zumba, and I think that it is going to catch on like that. Right now, it's here on the West Coast, um, specifically in the Bay Area. It was started by a woman in I can't. I think in San Francisco. I think she's from San Francisco, or it might be Berkeley. But she has these classes um, throughout the Bay Area, Berkeley, Oakland, San Francisco, and in San Jose. And so it's pretty cool to take them. I really enjoyed it. I went with a couple of my, um, a couple of friends, and and we just had a really good time. And I've been swimming a couple of times this week as well, um, which is also really really good. And so um, I have been getting a lot of activity in. That, that's that's kind of nice. Um, so I plan to continue, obviously, with the activity and, in fact, maybe pump it up a little bit this next week. Now that I'm reintroducing some carbs, I need to make up for that fact by um, increasing or continuing with the exercise that I've been doing um, so that I can, you know, keep maintaining my, my weight loss. Uh, my birthday is this coming Saturday, so a week from today, and I am going to be... The big 4-0, um, which is exciting and scary, but um, it's kind of cool to think that I'm going into this decade and I'm going to be so much healthier than I was in my 30s. Um, I'm already healthier right now than I was in my 30s, just in mindset and in activity level and just in eating. Um, but it's kind of cool that I'm going to uh, really be much thinner in my 40s, which is which is cool. And I don't think I look like I'm in my 40s, um, and that is not a fish for compliments. So please don't feel like you have to do that. But I just feel like, um, for whatever reason, I have been blessed with 
you know, skin that doesn't really wrinkle so far, knock on wood, and um, maybe it's the chubby cheeks that are kind of <laughs> taking the place of the, um, where wrinkles would be, I don't know. But anyway, right now I don't really have any wrinkles, um, which is pretty cool. So I do take care of my skin, though. It's a pretty important thing. So um, anyway, I'm sorry for the lighting. I know I look like super yellow and the whole background looks yellow. I just wanted to make a really kind of quick video, although I see it's already 10 minutes. So it is time to say goodbye, and I will see you guys soon. Hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.